Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm reacting live to this gameplay right now, and I'm just going to give some feedback on, on what I'm seeing before I actually get to play the game later this afternoon. So first thing, the heat wave is, is interesting. Um, it, it looks like a weapon that doesn't really do a lot of damage, but it, but it does. I don't know if it's something about the animation, plus the, uh, the reload animation looks a bit strange to me, but overall the gun looks epic. And what he did with that drop wall is something I'm definitely going to be doing as well. Um, this right here where he gets, I think he gets the double kill, right? No, he gets it at a different point in time, but the, the outlines look very prominent. The gameplay looks fun. As you saw right there, red team has a yellow shield, blue team has a blue shield. So that's, I think that's different than what we had before. Usually everyone just had like the yellow shield and, and that was it. Needler sounds really different. I don't know if it's like, it's something I'll, I'll have to get used to, but it does sound really different. I like the fact that there's an ammo counter on the back. The pink mist looks cool. The announcer also says, I don't know if you caught that throughout this, also says, uh, you know, successfully uh, achieved pink mist or something like that. I think the announcer said that, but uh, overall the graphics and the lighting, which is one of the best things about what I saw here, like today. The fact that the spike grenades are back, by the way, lighting is excellent. And the plasma pistol with that OG charge up sound is something that brought me so much joy yesterday. I was super happy about that. What I find interesting though, right here was that there were two drop shields on, on the ground. And I remember people in the past were like, hey, if you don't use equipment in a certain time, does it, does it respawn? And then you have two over shields or two drop shields. I'm curious if that was a result of that or if I'm just overthinking it. I don't know. Another thing is when you watch this by yourself with a sound all the way turned up, the grenades sound beefy. They sound awesome. What we're about to see is actually plasma pistol or plasma grenades on a weapon pad, which is brand new. And the animation for the, the invisibility is, is really cool. I'm glad they kind of left the slamming it into your chest type thing because, well, I don't know, I just, I think it's better than just walking over an, uh, an invisibility. Another thing to note is that when you watch this by yourself, <clears throat> the actual shield regen, right? When, it, when, when you get shielded back up, it's so clean compared to what we saw in July, 2020, like with all the hexagons everywhere. I'm so glad that wasn't the final product of that. <laughs> but, Running a little bit slower, it almost looks like they're trying to encourage you just to not use sprint. You basically just use sprint to set up a slide, right? Or if you really need to get away from something, but it's it's not as crazy as Halo 5. And then when it comes to the skewer, um, that, that weapon, that definitely looks like a weapon that it, you know, <laughs> it deserves a high skill to be able to use, right? So, BR sounds incredible. I love the hit markers, the red X. I actually am a really big fan of that. This game just feels slower, and I don't know if that's a bad thing. I think that's actually good. Like, I, I genuinely enjoy that. <clears throat> you got the pelicans flying in, in the back. Like I said before, spike grenades. I'm beyond happy that those are actually coming back. <laughs> and see, like, this this Forerunner weapon is just wild, dude. How much it scatters everywhere. It's very interesting. This guy got invisibility twice. <laughs> Life Fire looks beautiful. It's a small map, and it's actually pretty close to what Redacted XX, or XX Redacted, uh, created in Halo 5. So shout out to you, dude. From what it looks like, at least. I need to play it in order to be able to really know, but... One thing from like a Forger's perspective that I love is all the textures. I'm hoping we get things like this, like the textures on the wall, for actual walls that we use in Forge and whatnot. Once again, the outlines are really prominent, so that's great to see. When you, when you get a weapon off of the wall, the blue line disappears and then it loads back up. Um, being a visual indicator to let people know, hey, weapon's about to spawn. Yeah, the running animations I actually like as well. 
to look great. It's cool that you could see, actually see your, your teammates through the wall. And yeah, it's it's pretty clear who's who's good and who's bad, who's on your team and who's not. So I'm actually more of a fan of this than I was of red versus blue. Because now, whatever time and energy you put into your Spartan, you, you it actually is rewarded, right, at all times. This thing that he keeps doing with the drop shield is absolutely something I'm going to be doing when I play this afternoon. The respawn timer is cool. Um, I'm not sure what it, you know, how I think about the, the, the score counter in the middle of the screen, but it's something I'll get used to. And quite honestly, it's not an issue. I think it looks good. The VK 78, this weapon looks it, people say it looks OP. I don't think it looks OP. I just think this is a skilled guy using it, but that weapon looks like so much fun to use. Um, that this that uh banish weapon why am i blanking i just woke up um but the skewer that weapon looks like it's it's hard to use kind of like in a way similar to the spartan laser a little bit not saying the spartan laser was hard to use but it's just that like one direct shot kill type weapon once again lighting is just it seems to be done really well and I'm hoping that in Forge, we get some amazing lighting techniques to be able to utilize. This guy gets absolutely destroyed with two grenades. <laughs> but the overall UI and everything that I'm seeing looks cool. It really does. I like the, the countdown to spawn in. That's new. Once again, when you listen to this, the grenades sound beefy, dude. They sound awesome. Let me know guys, what did you think about what we saw yesterday and comment below if you got into the flight and if you did not get into the flight, don't worry, you will get into the next one, I'm pretty sure. And that's gonna have BTB, different vehicles, different weapons, all types of stuff, so that's super exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little breakdown that I had to share about the seven minute gameplay that we got on Live Fire yesterday. And I will see you later today, we're gonna be live streaming actual gameplay of Infinite, which is insane for me to think about, but we're here. So I'll see you then. Peace.